Hello everyone! For today's topic, ang ating pag-uusapan ay ang programa na inilunsad ng IRCC last January 2023. January 30, 2023. Ano nga ba ito? At sino-sino ang magiging beneficiary about this measure na inilunsad ng IRCC? Basahin muna natin. Basahin natin, changes to open work permit eligibility for family members of foreign workers. Ibig sabihin po, ng foreign workers, hindi ka pa po Canadian citizen or hindi ka pa po permanent resident dito sa Canada. Ito ay isa pa lang, uh, temporary work permit holder. Basahin natin, starting January 30, 2023, family members of most foreign workers can apply for an open work permit A few exemption may apply to family members of low-skilled workers. Napakagandang balita po, di ba? Lalo na sa mga may mga asawa, may mga common partner dito sa Canada or mga parents dito sa Canada na isa pa lang temporary foreign workers or temporary work permit holder. Yun po ang kagandahan kasi if yung kapamilya mo is interested pumunta dito sa Canada at magtrabaho, Yes, pwede mo pwede po silang pumunta dito na gamit ang Open Work Permit. Ang paprocess ka lang po ng iyong papel sa IRCC. Then, submit mo lang ang mga requirements doon. Then, magagrant na ang iyong Open Work Permit. Then, once you're here in Canada, pwede ka na po magtrabaho. You don't need already an LMIA, yung tinatawag nilang Labor Market Impact Assessment. And then, kagandahan ng open work permit kasi pwede kang magtrabaho ng mga employers or ilang trabaho na gusto mo kaysa sa close work permit. Kasi kung close work permit yan, isang employer lang ang pwede mong uh, pagtatrabahoan. Continue natin basahin ang mga ilang nakasulat doon kasi nga meron nakasaad din diba, na may counting restriction yata sa 4 and 5 sa tier 4 and 5, kaya proceed natin, basahin natin para malaman kung sino-sino ang hindi pwedeng mag-apply for this program. Dito sa page, mababasa natin ang who can apply. O, yun nga, ang sa who can apply is yung high-skilled worker, and then second is low-skilled workers, and then work permit holder who has applied or will apply for permanent residence through an economic immigration program. Itong high-skilled worker, i-click muna natin. Itong high-skilled worker, sa, ano to? Yung mga worker na may uh, job skills na belong sa tier 0, 1, 2, and 3. Ito po yung mga job skill na uh, mga managerial, yung mga matataas na position, and then may mga required mga university degree holder or diplomas. Sige, basahin natin no, ang... Uh, Qualifications sa high-skilled workers. Proof of your relationship to the principal foreign worker, spouses, and common law partners. Proof must be one of the following. So, copy of your marriage certificate kung may asawa na, kung kayo ay kasal. Kung hindi naman, kung kayo ay a common law or ano lang, living partner. Declaration of your common law relationship. So, mag-provide lang kayo ng mga documents na magpapatunay na kayo talaga ay common law or living partner. Mga ganyan. And then, other dependents. Kung halimbawa, ikaw po ay my dependent children, considered dependent children. Dito sa Canada, if I'm not mistaken, considered na dependent children is until 22 years old and then single. Ayan po. Dapat ay um, may birth certificate sa anak nyo or kung uh, siya ay isang adopted, so adoption papers po, ipa, ipapasa nyo. Sa family members of low-skilled workers naman, basahin natin. Proof of your relationship to the principal of foreign worker, spouses and common law partners. O, same lang po, no? Copy of marriage contract or certificate and declaration of your common law relationship. And then, if you have dependents also, birth certificate and or adoption papers. And kayo na lang po ang magbasa sa mga other requirements. Next na tayo. Itong third one is yung work permit holder who has applied or will apply for permanent residence through an economic immigration program. 
Ito po yung mga foreign workers or mga temporary workers na uh, on the process na po yung permanent residency nila or yung nagpaplano po mag-apply isa sa mga economic immigration program ng Canada. So, ito yon yung sa tier 4 or 5, yung sa low-skilled workers, no, may exemption sila. Ito po yon ang hindi pwedeng maka-apply as of now. Spouses or partners, common partners, or dependent children of workers in a tier 4 or 5 job under the low-wage stream. The Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program and the Agricultural Stream of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program are not eligible at this time. So, may apat po dito na uh, hindi pwedeng mag-apply as of now for uh, open work permits for their spouses or the uh, common law partners and then dependent children. Kung uh, low-wage stream daw, kung halimbawa uh, ibig sabihin nito, yung wage ninyo is mababa po sa median hourly wage sa lugar na iyan. Halimbawa, kayo ay nasa Alberta. And then, ang wage uh, minimum wage dito is 15. And then, yung sahod nyo is mababa sa 15. So, hindi po kayo pasok doon. And second is yung tinatawag dito yung Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program. Ibig sabihin po, eh, seasonal lang po ang inyong uh, trabaho. Uh, once matapos na ang season, ay wala na po yan. Tapos na yung kontrata ninyo, so hindi po yan pasok. Itong panghuli, ito po yung mga foreign workers na na-hire through agricultural stream program. Inalo po ng Canada na mag-hire ang mga employers for foreign workers kung wala silang mahanap na mga Canadian or permanent residents na magpo-fulfill sa isang job. So, But these are all about agricultural jobs. Ayun na nga, nakita na natin ang uh, sino-sino ang pwede mag-apply. And then, sa 4 and 5, may sinabi doon na restriction or kung sino ang hindi pwede mag-apply as of the moment. Una is yung mga foreign workers na hindi pasok ang kanilang salary sa minimum wage rate ng territory or province na tinitirhan nila. Second is yung mga seasonal workers lang po. Yung through season lang ang inyong trabaho. And then, pangatlo is yung mga workers na na-hire sa agricultural stream programs. Yun po, no? So, tatlo, tatlong ano lang po doon ang hindi pwedeng mag-apply for now. Kaya, alamin nyo muna po kung anong tier ang mga partners ninyo or yung parents ninyo na nandito na sa Canada na isang temporary foreign workers. At kung kayo ay pasok naman, limbawa yung partners nyo is nabilong naman sa uh, high-skilled workers or kahit nabilong sa 4 and 5 and then pwede hindi naman sila pasok doon sa na-mention na mga restriction. Go na, asikasuhin nyo na ang pag-process ng inyong papel kasi this is only a 2-year measure. Until 2025 lang po ito, kaya naman i-grab nyo na ang opportunity na ito kasi hindi po ito pang matagalan na programa ng Immigration of Canada. Um, I think that's it. Na-share ko na ang about this news. Sana ay may natutunan kayo about this video. And then, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And hit the notification bell para kayo ay ma-notify kung may mga bagong upload sa ating buhay, -buhay dito sa Canada. That's it for today and thank you for watching. See you for the next video.